Hey friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue our next year series and in this series we are creating a news website. So this is the layout of our website and in this video we are going to talk about basics of API routes in Next.js, how API routes work in Next.js, right? So if you have ever worked with Express, then you know how Express work, right? We can create uh, app from the Express and then we can uh, handle the incoming request to the server. And also uh, we use different types of middleware, uh, like if you want to handle the JSON data, uh, if you want to pass the JSON data, then we use either body parser or JSON dot, uh, Express dot JSON. Uh, like uh, function right to pass the JSON data or if you want to pass the form data then we use uh, same express or JSON for form parsing if you want to uh, handle the course uh, uh, the request coming to your server then we use a course library as a middleware right so it will handle the incoming request and validate uh, it, it is suitable for course or not and then it will pass uh, the request to the next function so we can handle the API right so likewise it is kind of similar we have over here but you don't have to do anything everything is pre-built most of the things are pre-built and if you want uh, you can use right so for example uh, uh, api routes by default handle the parsing of the data uh, so it, it easily handles json parsing right let me show you how it works so basically what you have to do we have to create a function something like this uh, like this and that function will be uh, by default export let's go to the project and here we have a sample uh, function so let's go to the pages and here we have api and here we have hello so this is our uh, uh this is our hello api actually and this is the handler uh, written over here and this is a documentation for api route and uh, this is just like express res status uh, you can specify the status code and then json name job we can call this api right so let's call this api so to call this api you have to use uh, a prefix always with your api that's api Okay, so let's go and here we're gonna say loop host 3000 api slash hello and here we have got our name john right so this is a get request right this is gonna work fine uh, with get post put patch delete everything work fine because we, there is no handling of request method right likewise if you want to create a post api uh, let's say i'm gonna create a post and let's create an index.js file. And here we're gonna say export default function function name handler. And this takes uh, two parameters. So it has a request and response, just like uh, express functions, right? And here we can say response dot status. We're gonna say 200 JSON. I'm gonna say, uh, let's create an array. You're gonna say ID one name such an email such an at the rate gmail.com. So, name, ID, email, and that's all. Let's call this and see API hello slash post. That's all. And here we've got ID name, such an uh, name, such a uh, name, such an email, such an at the rate gmail.com. So this is a get request, right? And we can have handle the post uh, also. You can identify uh, the request method by looking in this request a method, say request dot. So here it is a request dot method. It will give you a result like it is a get request or post request or delete or patch or put so many types of requests here you can get okay now if you want to handle the form data so let's create a, a, a one more uh, api right and here we're gonna say uh, let's say uh, post create right let's create a api here only here we'll say create create.js so post slash create.js and let's say export uh, copy and paste over here and let's remove this and here we're gonna say name post create api save and we are also uh, going to identify this as a post request 
So I'll say request dot uh, method for post. If it's post, if it is not equal to post, then we are going to throw an error to say response dot status that is going to be like 400 dot JSON. And here I'm going to say name invalid request type. And instead of name, here we'll say message. Okay, save. So let's save this one too. This is a create API and let's try to hit this from the browser. Uh, so browser will always make a get request, right? So we'll say create. And here we got invalid request type. So let's try from Postman. So here we're gonna say local host colon 3000 slash API slash post slash create. And let's hit it. Invalid request. Now let's choose post and say uh, post create API, right? So this is working fine. We got the request. Now let's go over here. And uh, so here I want to send some data, some raw data from the body. So I'll simply say raw. And here we'll say JSON type. And I'll say name uh, Sanjay, right? And this is going to be a string. Sanjay, save it. So this is what we are going to send in the raw in the body of this post request, and then we'll accept that. Okay. So here we're going to say const and request dot body. And here we are going to get that name and then we'll say here name directly so this this is going to be used save now let's see so here we have got our name sanjay right uh so like this we have different types of uh, things we can do with next.js right let's go to the browser we will see uh, in very advanced while doing the project like how to use the middleware how to create our own custom middleware and everything right so here are the some configuration you can uh, just go through it like a body parser. So let's say if you don't want to do, uh, you don't want to use JSON data and you want to have a form data, let's say you're uploading a file, then you can send a file only in the form data, right? So in that case, you have to disable this body parser and use the uh, middleware like Multer or incoming form, something like that to get the, uh, to get the form data, right? And body parser also, you can change the size limit, like uh, you can specify uh, if size is greater than 500 KB, then uh, throw some error and how to use middleware so here you can use uh, middleware so like uh, if you're familiar with express then you know how we use course middleware right so incoming request to the express server will be handled by the course and if, if request is valid then it goes to the next function for the request handling right and here it is like that so this is, a, this is our handler with request response and then this is a function run middleware request response and then pass the middleware here is the middleware. Uh, this is your this is your course, and that is simply getting called with request response, and then the result, and then finally it is going to resolve. So if it resolves successfully, it means uh, the course is passed. But if it if it got rejected, then uh, course failed, and you can wrap this thing inside the try and catch to handle the errors, right? So kind of like a uh, uh, little bit different but uh, we can work with that. But we can use some third party library to have the same feature uh, like we use in Express, right? So here we have something like that. Next hyphen connect. So if you, if, you, if you see this library, next connect, then we can use this library to handle the course. Uh, homepage. Yeah, so let's see over here, next connect. You can import this library and this is your handler function. You, you use this next connect function and it gives you ability to use like dot use if you want to use some middleware then your get request your post request your put request so we can use different types of uh, middleware with this next connect so this is uh, like uh, all about uh, api routes uh, haven't covered so much because uh, we are going to discuss everything in the project right so these are the type script thing like if you want to if you, next API response right this is a type if you're using TypeScript then you need to use the this type so that's all uh, kind of like not required for us because we are using JavaScript so thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day